Guards try to stop you. Holy fuck. Okay. We're defeated by the guards who release you with a stern warning. Wow, that was awfully generous of them. Maybe they just felt bad for Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I just got rinsed! Hey, new friend! Please subscribe and come have fun again! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trisky. I don't do a radio voice thing. That's not my bit. This is this is not my bit. Welcome to Sands of Salzar. I got a key for this game from the developers. Thank you very much. I am going to be giving it a look-see because it looks really interesting. Thing is, though, I do need to let you all know ahead of time that it is still an early access title. So keep that in mind as we proceed forward. We are going to start a new game. Open world, of course. Music, camels, sand, Greek or Athenian or Roman temple of a sort. There was a war 20 years ago. 20 years. That war took my father, my mother, my homeland, everything. Shit, they even took the, the sun? Sun. sun? They took the motherfucking sun. So, uh, I guess recommended for new player. Well, fuck you. I'm going to play something not recommended. That's really dumb. Beastmaster. Original shaman skills and shaman plot. You are a shapeshifter. Oh, is it like a variant of this or something? So are there people that are more like the knights? Don't... Okay. There's a bunch of different groups. Hashashin. Stealthy assassin. Bounty hunter here. Sultan. You have a range of brawling abilities, including skull bash, brutal collision, lunging chop. So we get like a certain amount of things that we can use to purchase abilities, items, and people to accompany us at the beginning. Oh, you can make some of this really dumb, can't you? Oh no, we're, we're not going with my initial idea. I need to fuck around with this a little bit. Hmm. All right, uh, is there a random? Yes, there is. I can do this. I am become the shaman. Oh, the hair is a separate thing? I like that for this one. All right, so these different hairstyles and whatnot have uh, different background things that I can do with them. Holy mother of shit. Is that scorpion? Why am I a scorpion? I, I mean, deserts, yeah, but god damn, that's... Like, who do I want to work with? Which one do I want to work with? What do I want to get? I'm going to spend the majority of this in fucking character creation and shit. My god. I am shaman. Vice. Uh... It's literally off of my head. <laughs> Let's fucking go! I am the Shaman Queen. As big as possible. What is the dumbest possible looking thing for this? I am the prettiest princess? No. Oh, what the fuck do I want to do? Oh, there's so many options. I like scorpions. <laughs> Uh, oh no, you can't even, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, and I'm gonna be seeing this all the time, aren't I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I am anonymous. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I am the best warrior. No, I don't know which one to choose. They all look so dumb, but can I make it dumber somehow? Hey, look at me. Jazz hands. Yeah, we're gonna go with jazz hands here. Jazzica. Real mode. Selecting this option prevents you from recruiting dragons, angels, phoenixes, and other powerful magical creatures. No. I want dragons. Okay. All right. The beginnings of Jazzica's adventure in Sands of Salzar. You struggle to open your eyes. The sunlight pierces your eyes. You're in a daze while you hear people chatting about things like humans and leopards. 
You lean your head and stand up with difficulty. The people surrounding you take a step back. Try to jolt your own memory, but you could not recall anything except the phrase Jazzica. You feel like you have heard this phrase countless times. You finally realize that it is your name. You catch a glimpse of somebody's lips moving, like he was saying your name, but you look up and he has already turned in the direction of Redstone Valley and left. Yes, I see myself in here. Party. Battle and Wolf. Can I, can I rename them? You're new here, right? Maybe I can answer some questions. Um, which way to Redstone Keep, wherever that is? How do I even know that exists? Not from, from here. There's a caravan here that's about to depart. Talk to the leader. He should let you go near with them. Any more questions? All right, so there really isn't much in the ways of, like, moving the camera around separate to your person. You hear faint calls for help carried by the wind. The wind gets stronger and the sound becomes clearer. After a while, you finally get to see the owner of its voice. It's a middle-aged man dressed in ragged clothes, carrying an old sap. He grasps a masked woman's hand and runs desperately. Chasing him is a group of humanoid monsters in ensconced with flame. That's that word. Oh, save me! Before you can respond, humanoid creatures made of living fire rush towards you with cruel intent. Combat! I literally did nothing. The, the wolves just fucked him. Okay. Thank you for your help. May I ask the name of my benefactor? <laughs> I skipped over that way too quick. Jessica. I love it. My name is Malak. I am a scholar. She is Isra, an orphan I picked up in Twin Luna Valley. She was interested in my studies, so I took her with me. <laughs> I keep forgetting what I look like. Jessica, let's go. What do you, what, the options are, what do you study and it's fine. Uh, in an age of war, it seems like a useless profession, no? I'm studying the history of this land, not the old empire of the Machina age, but something very obscure. As long as you're okay. These monsters appeared after the black sun rose in the sky. They appear human. They even have human faces. Because their bodies are covered in flame, we call them Ifrit. Goodbye. I like how that could just be my thing. If you're lucky, you'll never encounter one. Ifrit are violent by nature, they especially like to attack humans, human mages in particular. This kind of weak Ifrit isn't even self-aware. But it's said more powerful Ifrit are smarter than a human, though I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you, please accept this token of our gratitude. You really are a kind person. The area ahead is dangerous. I suggest you proceed with caution. We got some money. They uh, express their gratitude, they continue on their journey. Ifrit deteriorate quickly, like burned charcoal, they fall apart bit by bit until they are finally blown away in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Battle of Black Sun has made this world unrecognizable, but people have never stopped fighting it. For a second, I thought I said fucking it. The appearance of such a monster is unlikely to change anyone's streams of conquest. You brace your head against the wind and press forward. At the end of all, you see a caravan preparing to head out into the desert. They are willing to take you with them and give you a trade permit. Yeah, we'll go to the recommended for once. Stable where livestock are reared. I can have a wolf as a mount. I need to be level eight, huh? I'll buy them both. What level am I? God damn it, I thought that was my Utar. I will come back for you, Wolfie. I'll come back when I level up and I will have a wolf mount. Some prisoners are being held in this makeshift jail. Defeat the guards and the prisoners will join you. You must be discreet and thus can only use heroes. Oh my God. Oh, where did this bum come from? Scram, what do you want to do? Make trouble. <laughs> have you been sipping crazy, Kai? You solo challenging me? Okay, that was a bad idea. Well, I don't think I can actually beat him. Oh. I heal a little bit from it. I can't actually help to- Why am I so big all of a sudden? What the fuck? Was I always this huge? Wait, what? Why am I bear? Why am I bear? Why did I become bear? Why is Jessica bear? Damn it, you're lucky. You win for now. Ha! Get fucked, pal. You haven't heard the famous of the famous Desert Brotherhood? And over your valuables if you value your life.
Well, my wolves are bullshit. Every fight where I'm not allowed to use them is bullshit. Wow, they hated me negative 40. Now they hate me negative 41. I will never financially recover from this. Watch some other videos as well. Bye-bye! <laughs>